that we were forward and we had leads that were coming in. We're meeting with new prospective people. We are, are we were, we were seeing revenue come into the business. Mm-hmm. So we saw revenue coming in. We weren't seeing it in our pockets, but we were seeing it in effect that, oh, we need this program. Uh, you know what? We need to, we need to invest in, in, in going to this conference. Well, okay, we have to go to this conference in Chicago or in this, in this state. So, okay, well, well let, let's budget $2,000 or whatever it may be. We'll take a bus. We'll get there. And um, so we've always seen progress throughout that time, even though we were getting small wins. So they weren't like, okay, great, I'm going to get a paycheck in the, next, in the next six months. But they were small wins that kept our mind and spirit alive that we were like, okay, we're, we're building. We're, we're getting somewhere. So, you know, I sit here and I listen to you and I think about how hard you guys have worked to build what you build and, and coming from a sports background, we all, t- we always talk about in athletics, you're not like a family, you are a family, right? And your culture. So you guys have worked so hard to build today's business and you have this culture, you are family. I mean, you go way back in, in how, tell me a little bit about the people that you attract to and that you let in side of your culture in terms of the hiring process? I think that is, that's a great question. And that's really the, that's the business. We are people, you know, it's so, what we're, what type of business in digital marketing that we do, it's very time intensive and a people is our number one capital and that's our number one asset. And I mean, I know from the payroll every two weeks and everything that we do is that that's, that's our most expensive, um, asset, but it's also what makes us so unique and so valuable to so many people is that now we have 37 individuals at today's business that are cohesively working together and growing and building together. And that culture is just so important because yes, you wanted a competitive culture. You want a culture where you thrive off people's energy and enthusiasm. And I think that's so important as when I walk into the office, I say hi to every single person. I want to make sure that they're looking me in the face, shake hands with everyone, ask everyone how they're doing, how's their day going, how was their weekend? Because the business will only go as far as the people that we have here in our, in, our, in our team. That is as far as the business will go. And if we don't have everyone aligned in, in working cohesively, I've, I've seen it throughout the years. I mean, we've been in business for eight years, so there's a lot of different things that have gone our, our way and haven't gone our way. And, um, and to see individuals grow and learn so much and having a, uh, and having a culture that is about continuous education is so important. And I think that's what we've instilled from the lunch and learns that we do to bring in motivational speakers, which I would love to have you, um, come and talk to the team Ed. um, to, uh, going to these seminars, doing these, uh, general assemblies, uh, going to the SMX conference, the affiliate conference, and seeing that all the different things that how much our people have learned over the years and now they're becoming experts. There's so much fulfillment in there from an ownership standpoint, but I, I look at it as an opportunity for everyone to grow and learn. And if I could, if, if today's business could be that platform for individuals, I'm doing my job and, and granted, and I just feel super fulfilled and happy and, because what's better than having people grow and learn under, under your tutelage, under your wing, and then seeing them blossom on their own, whether it's part of today's business, they could still blossom on their own as part of today's business or blossoming and, and growing in, in other fields, whether it's starting their own business or, or working at uh, another company. And that's your, your network is your net worth. So I really, I really believe in that. You and I talked about before we started um, the podcast, we talked about that very thing, investing